going to talk about Pretty Links Lite. It's a plugin for your WordPress website. Uh, first, let's talk about why you would want to use Pretty Links. Um, whenever you have an affiliate link from any of the places that you are marketing, uh, there are a couple issues. One is they're usually long and ugly. Uh, the second issue is they usually aren't very well liked by social media, such as Facebook or Twitter or whatever. So there are reasons to shorten them and to make them look pretty and to make them uh, look different from an affiliate link. Uh, another reason that you'd want to use pretty links is that you can change where it's going. And I'll cover that in just a minute. But first, let's talk about, um, let me just, uh, I randomly went to um, ClickBank and found, I just randomly picked something. And I wanted to show you this link right here is my affiliate link for that item. I think that item was called Surveys24. OK, so it's a survey product, info product. And so this would be my affiliate link. You do not want to post this anywhere, <laughs> uh, certainly not on Facebook or Twitter or even do a solo ad directly to there. So what we can do is go over to our website and I'll just use my website as an example. Log into your back office of your website. Now, one thing I like about Pretty Link is that they do have a quick ad right here on your dashboard, which is really, really nice. But in this case, I'm going to go into the Pretty Link settings so that you can see what that actually looks like if you go here. So we're gonna go here and we're gonna create, we're gonna add a Pretty Link. We're gonna paste in our affiliate link that we just created. Now, they randomly create a, a shortened link, but uh, N1Q2 means absolutely nothing to me. So I like to put something that looks a little more, well, a little more normal, uh, like surveys. Since we know that this is a survey, survey link, it helps to do that. And then I can title it ClickBank survey 24, which I think was what the product was called. So there are advanced things you can do here. You can group things so that all your groups are together. So like all of your ClickBank things could be together. You could create a new group of ClickBanks. Or if you have a lot of affiliate links for one of your affiliate partners, such as, um, as ShareASale, you could put all your ShareASale links together or all of your MOBE links together or all of your Amazon links together. So you can group them if you want to. There are advanced options, but you have to upgrade to the pro version to use them. And really, there's not a good reason to do that. The free option offers you plenty. Uh, and um, at this point, there's really no reason to upgrade. Um, be sure that the tracking options over here is clicked on, which is the default. So it should be. But um, but be sure that that's turned on. OK, so now we're going to create this. And you'll see here at the top, ClickBank Survey 24. It has zero hits, zero unique. I didn't put a group in here. Here's where it was created. Here is my short link that I can copy and use in uh, Facebook or um, solo ad or in my blog, for example, in a blog post. Um, so all of that's there. Here's where it's going down here. Um, but this is the one that you're going to use. Now I want you to look and see, um, you can see where, uh, for example, here uh, Profit Canvas is one that I use and uh, it's had 45 hits, 43 unique hits. So if you're buying a solo ad, um, and let me scroll down here, I've got one here. Uh, I did the solo ad here. Um, I pay for 100 hits, I got 124, but this is a way that I can verify that I am getting what I paid for. So it's really good for using for solo um, ads. So, okay, so once you've got that, then you've got it all set up and you're ready to use this link. Now, here's a nice thing about it. Um, let's say, uh, for example, the Profit Canvas link here. Let's say Profit Canvas changed the way that they did their affiliate links or you know, for whatever reason, I would need to change the target URL. 
The nice thing about this is you can go in here, you can edit, and then you can change your target URL and you still keep your pretty link, which means all the places that I've put this pretty link are still valid. So if you've got an offer that expired at the end of the year, you could put a new offer in and that way all your links that you've put in various places are still good. And to me, that is a major, major reason to use this. So there are lots and lots of reasons to use this awesome plugin. And um, one thing that's going to be really helpful, and, and I need to make this comment here, be sure that your post name under your settings, your permalinks, be sure your permalinks are set to post name because that is the format that Pretty Link Lite uses. So you need to make sure that this is set on post name. Otherwise, Pretty Links is going to have some issues. So, okay, feel free to comment below, ask any questions, and uh, ask questions for the next video. And I will see you on the flip side.